Hitler Youth, Growing Up in Hitler's Shadow. Chapter 3, Where One Burns Books, The Nazi Education. Now, look at this picture. Guess who it is. Guess what type, what type of human it is. Is it a boy or girl? Answer this question, please. So, what do you think this human is? Is it a boy or a girl? Please answer this question. You might think it's a boy at first glance, but it turns out this is a girl. The Nazi slogan party said that girls should always have long braids, like uh, this one. Um, this is not a braid anyways, it's just long hair. But a lot of people, but this guy, this girl is actually against the Nazi party. And she even started having her own political ideas. And then she started saying she was forced into being part of the Nazi party. And then this is her education. And then the students were told into getting two new lessons. Usually these teachers were Jewish. And then they kind of got into some kind of, I Yes, you know it is already. Oh, him teaching the teachings you might have today, but back then Nazi teachers had a lot of bad things in common. That is really not common with and today's teachers. They told them that Nazis are the perfect people and that they should actually persecute any Jews, even if they're part Nazi. And then two new subjects were added into Nazi classes. First. The science of the, the science of racism, and, and and which is actually about how Jews are unimportant and how there are different types of humans. And then and then which type is the best of all? And then the second lesson is science of racism, saying that Jews are always not good and that they are mischievous and that they should never be allowed in Germany, even if some Jews have German heritage. And and they're part Nazi. There's nothing that can actually happen about them. Jews are always persecuted. Even if you have one tiny bit of Jew inside Jewish, any type of Jew that, if anything that's about Jew is connected to you, except persecuting Jews themselves or hating Jews, then you would actually go out of your world. You can become an outcast. So you actually have to be loyal to the Nazis so that kids are actually happy for you. And then it was followed by, and then these boys went to the Hitler Youth. <laughs> and they said it was the best time ever. Well, some others actually said it wasn't. And these boys, even though they're not even old enough for war, are preparing for war themselves. They went, this is when World War II started. And they went all the way to World War II and started fighting while they're boys. I mean, this doesn't even make any sense to you. Yeah, it doesn't. And then on May 10th, 1933, Germans, German students who picked up these books which are banned from Germany. And these, and these books were called Un German, Un German. These Un German books were later just went away. Oh, whoa, whoa. Went away. Later, a girl said this in one of her meetings, in one of her FDC meetings. That. Whoever doesn't, whoever doesn't know Henry Che, who was a German Jewish literature and was a great poet at the time, doesn't know German literature, and think that she was prosecuted. And then she also was prepared. She didn't know that the Nazis were preparing for the Holocaust. It was. It only took eight years until the Nazis to fulfill the to fulfill Henry Che's prophecy. Yes, the prophecy that he actually done. That this is the prophecy, by the way. Whoever burns books, burns people, and they actually done that, both literally and mentally. This is where I'll end this episode. If you like learning about the Nazi, the Nazis, Nazis Hitler camp and its new layers, there is more books that you can find out on Hitler and the Hitler Youth. But what I'm more interested in is about how Hitler is actually going into power himself. Hitler was a rising force in in the German in the German government, but however, he never actually tried to dream about this when he was a baby. Of course, 
There were times when the Hitler Youth was good at stuff, but Hitler was a rising force in the party. And once, when he fulfilled his destiny, there is a lot that he actually didn't like about this stuff. And later, he set up about proving Aryans and also special tests to prove that you're full Aryan. So yeah, I guess this we're all in this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Nan out. Peace.